Well, one year after Hurricane Maria, Lehman College is organizing a panel discussion between prominent journalists who've been reporting and writing about Puerto Rico. We welcome now Dr. Rima Brusi, who's a writer in residence at the Center for Human Rights and Peace Studies. We welcome you now to the show, and good to have you. Well, thank you for having me. Good. So we talk about Puerto Rico. You know, uh, Julio was a little on a little bit earlier talking about uh, the work of raising awareness. Mm -hmm. You're raising awareness from a different perspective, and that's journalism per se. Let's talk about the journalistic piece because we're taking a look at how people are taking, uh, you know, how people report on Puerto Rico, mm -hmm. and uh, give us a little bit more. Well, I think this panel is relevant not only for those who care about Puerto Rico and about the aftermath of Hurricane Maria, but also about those who care about journalism's role in helping us uh, engage with the truth in what some have called the post-truth era, right? Mm -hmm. So um, the, we have chosen Hurricane Maria as, um, as, a, as the theme to understand how journalists can help can help us ask the right questions, ask better questions, uh, provide us with answers to those questions, and help us in general become engaged citizens. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about these journalists, so the panel discussion will talk about specifically what? Uh, integrity? Uh, it will talk about the tools and questions you need to ask uh, in the aftermath of natural disasters, such mm -hmm. as, for example, Hurricane Maria. Mm -hmm. Uh, our panelists were chosen because uh, they were particularly good at providing uh, an in-depth kind of coverage of um, the kinds of things that were happening on the island after Hurricane Maria. And in particularly, they were good at asking questions that a lot of people were not asking at the time. For example, um, at the time, uh, this number of dead, uh, number 16 was right. being in, used by official authorities. It was journalists, investigative journalists, the ones that started saying that number doesn't sound right and started investigating the death and today we know it's around 3,000 deaths instead. Right. Um, and the same thing happens with the ways in which uh, the hurricane, the people affected by the hurricane were portrayed by some in the mainstream press as victims, as passive victims of a so-called natural disaster. Uh, journalists did a great job. Some journalists did a great job at sort of reminding us that these were humans that were the victims of neglect and also were engaged in powerful, often heroic efforts to rebuild and help each other out. Right. So those are stories that we need to tell and we need to know about. Yeah, and, and when we talk about that, I think when we as journalists go in, we follow the main lead and we stay with that main lead. But there's so many other layers. What more are we going to be able to get and hear from, from some of these journalists? Because, as you said, they did some great in-depth work, mm -hmm. and they didn't go for the, the basic natural story that we would exactly. talk about, but really taking it a step further and, and doing some real, put the work in is what we call it. Yes, we have a we have a great panel. Frankly, I'm really I'm really happy with the panel because we have all kinds of things. We have Carla Minet, who's an investigative journalist, and she was part of the team, an integral part of the team that was in charge of counting the debt and developing a database of the debt uh, that not only. Uh, estimates numbers such as you know what the studies mm -hmm. do but also they went to people's homes and talked to the families wow. so those dead that they've been able to count have names and they have addresses and they have families and they have stories behind mm -hmm. them right so there's that investigative journalism piece we also have uh, Ed Morales, who writes for um, the New York Times and Asian and a number of other places and he was really good at sort of placing the whole <clears throat> Um, the aftermath of the hurricane and the way it was mishandled in the context of a situation that includes uh, a debt, right? Mm -hmm. A recession that has been going on in Puerto Rico for 10 years. Uh, a very peculiar relationship that Puerto Rico has with the United States and your previous guest sort of talked about it right. a little bit. Um, and, and also the fact that in order to pay bondholders in Wall Street, Puerto Rico is having to cut on basic services and that had an effect in the aftermath of the hurricane and caused some of these deaths. Um, we have Ana Teresa Toro, who wrote beautiful um, pieces that sort of humanized uh, Puerto Ricans and sort of portrayed our plight and, and represented it to the world in a way that makes us not victims, but humans, fellow humans. And finally, we have um, uh, Alana Casanova Burgess, who did a beautiful job at WNYC, sort of going in depth into those issues. So Dr. Rima Bruce is here talking about journalism in the age of disaster. Now, if you want to know where you can find it out, you can find out more about it Thursday, October 11th, 1245 to 230 at the Music Building Recital Hall. And that's our room 306. Once again, uh, 
Thursday, October 11, 1245 to 230, Music Building Recital Hall, Room 306. Dr. Brucey, thank you so much for coming and sharing. Thank you so much for having me. I want you to have a good time over there. Thank, thank you. you. All righty, taking a quick break. Got more show. Don't go away. We're coming right back in a few.